Like Kaby Bulayev. Ortiz making his return to Olympic style boxing after a few years in the pro ranks. Beat Spain's Tokyo 2020 Olympian Gazi Jaladov in his opener here. Defeated Japan's Waikaya Go and looked very assured yesterday against New Zealand's Taj Kago. Turabek Kabibulayev, bronze medalist at last year's Asian Games, so he was one win away from an Olympic spot. He lost out to champion to Hatabike Tanglatahan from People's Republics of China. Yesterday, another unanimous points win, too strong for French teenager Jojelin Cesar. Before that, he beat Rio 2016 Olympian, former Asian champion Hussein Ishayish from Jordan. Final moments. Not sure they even hear the referee because <laughs> they're I, they are dialed in. Three rounds, three minutes each, nine minutes to Paris. And we are stepping up. So this could end at any time. Yeah, we're up to 80 kilograms, the light heavyweights. Javi Bulev is impressive. Big man who can move around. Same as same story for Ortiz though. Two southpaws in opposition and Khabib Bulayev out muscling Ortiz in the early exchanges. Ortiz trying to fire back from in close. Bit of holding going on. The referee wants a word. That won't be the last bit of holding. Ortiz just turning his shoulder. Getting a bit tangled up. There's no time for surveying the opposition. That's straight to it. Oh, great combination from Kabi Belayev. Ortiz is firing back, but I think he's on the wrong end of most of these. He is. He's being pushed way back. Kabi Belayev falls forward. But he's enjoying the better of this opening first round. In a big way. If this were to continue, this, this could be a 10-8 as he's landing big shots and not taking many. Pushing down from Khabib Belayev. Although Ortiz with his head low, not helping the situation. Same scenario here. Yeah, yeah you don't want to get too many talking to's. He's coming in. But Gabi Belayev is fine with that. Gabi Belayev just quicker to the punch. Yes. Listening to some instruction from the Colombian corner there. It's dissolved a bit. It's a bit messy now. Attempted uppercut from Ortiz, just off target. It's finding Kabibulayev difficult to hit. Yeah, he, he looks a little more comfortable in that he's not getting tattooed uh, as often. He's, he's in there. Oh, a point deduction already wow. for Ortiz for his head being low. Wow. I don't know if he's got bleeding in his mouth the way he was... Looking at things, it was a good shot by Kabi Bulayev. And another one at the bell, and let's see how big this first round is. I think it will be a 10-8. Sorry, a 10-9, I beg your pardon. Let's see. There are four. Well, of course, Ortiz did have a point deducted. So one judge from Romania gave it to Ortiz, the others to Kabi Bulayev. Uh, in total control now. And especially what the first minute, minute and a half, the, he, it was rock 'em, sock 'em all for the man in blue. Although that left looked better here than it did in real time from Ortiz. It's 
seen some of the highlights from that opening round and Kavi Belayev on top. You know, without that point deduction, this is still very close. Yeah, Kavi Belayev, a two-point lead on four of the scorecards. Level on the other. Ortiz really has to win this round. Might already be in the realms of needing a stoppage. Though if he was to win the next two rounds, 10-9, still be in with a chance. The judges then might have to decide who's won the bout. So it very much depends on what happens in the next six minutes. Well, the next minute might be a problem for him because Javi Bulov is teeing off like he was early in the, in the bout. Bulov is preferring to tie things up a lot now. And Ortiz is getting in close. He He's is. missing. He's missing. He is getting there, though, and, and not as much snap to the Kabibuliev punches. It's a good combination of Kabibuliev after Ortiz missed an attempted uppercut. He's getting punished when he misses Ortiz. Holding and hitting. Can't do that. Ortiz is showing a lot of heart. Right in there. Just as you said, he, he's right there, but he's missing. Destruction had come to stop. Ortiz wanted to keep going. Inside the final minutes of round two, it's been a scrappy affair. And Ortiz just not landing that many clean punches. And he looks like he's in position to do so, but a lot of them just going wide or behind his opponent. Bobby Bully have also not nearly as sharp as he was early. And I think they're both gassed. Oh, that left scored. And an uppercut coming back. <laughs> this could be a rock'em sock'em round three. Oh, big oh. left from Kabibai Laev, and Ortiz oh. felt that and comes back for more. But in even these exchanges up close, it looks like Kabibai Laev's getting the better of them. Absolutely. And the bell comes. Shake of the head as Ortiz trudges back to his corner. Yeah, he's he's getting worked over, and that deduction won't help at all. Ten nines across the board in favor of Kabibulayev. So he is three points clear on four of the scorecards and very much in control. Ortiz needs a stoppage. Nothing else will do. You're right. He, he had made the adjustment to get in, but just way off target. And, and it appeared that Kabi Balayev was there for the taking a little bit, at least for the scoring. There's an uppercut that scored. All right. Encouragement from the Colombian corner. He's got to just go get this. Got to dig deep and try to find a way to put the man in blue down. Oh, wonderful oh. countering from Kabi Belayev and Ortiz looks in trouble. He is in trouble. And now, Kabi Balayev can afford to get on his bike and wait for his spot. Still wanting to trade, and Ortiz 
That will help his cause. He wants his man right in front of him. He's starting to unload. A bit more accuracy from Ortiz. And again, at this weight, he, he could end this with a shot. But he's more likely to go down. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Breathing heavily. Abu Belaya there cleverly just leaning back into his man. Looked like Ortiz was going to force him into the corner, but Abu Belaya thought, you know what, I'm going to come forward and use my strength and shows that Ortiz is tired. He worked about 20, 25 seconds off the clock yes. as well. Now he shows a little shuffle. Now totally on his horse. Oh, it's oh, a beautiful combination, and the referee and dishes out the standing eight count. And uh, that was coming. Yes. And Ortiz looking a bit deflated. Hands are up. He's coming, continuing to come forward, but... Oh, he's taking a couple of big punches. I suspect this... Well, there's only a minute to go. He might, might make it through the rest of the round. He's shaking his head. I'm not sure he really wants to continue here. Here he comes, one last effort, lands the right. Oh, big right from Kabi Belayev. Could have been another standing eight, could be another one here. Ortiz looking ready to go. Oh, big left. Ortiz is game and brave. It's taking a lot of big punches from Kabi Belayev. Looks extremely tired. Emptying the tank, though. I think the tank's empty. Well, he's going out firing anyway. I'm surprised he's still standing and throwing punches. Oh, there is the final bell. Wow. Congratulations to Turebek Kabibalaev. He is going to Paris on a quality performance. Yeah, we've seen Ortiz before and he's beaten some good names. It just came up short today against an opponent who was very organized, had that height and reach advantage, had great hand speed and foot movement as well, and ring craft. And uh, Juan Ortiz says a little prayer before he awaits the final decision. He knows what's coming. It's going to be celebration for the man in blue. To Rebecca Kabibalaev. Is on his way to the Olympic Games, Paris 2024. A unanimous points decision against Colombia's Juan Ortiz. And he's a man to watch. Yes, he is. He brings a lot into the ring. He's got some moves, clearly has some power. And just a solid performance against the guy who's beaten a lot of people as you mentioned and that's so tough this is reminds me of you know when you lose a bronze medal but the, the podium has three and then the fourth person it's you're you're this close but but you're not there oh it was a big left probably Belayev took his share of shots earlier anyway he did Ortiz was landing the odd shot but it was just one or two against four or five from Kabi Belayev, who was very good value for that win. And he was rocked a couple of times. There was one standing eight count. There could have been more. Yes, I, I was looking for the referee to stop in and count him out, at least for eight seconds. But uh, he chose to let him finish. And I think, you know, for a guy with the heart and the pride of Juan Ortiz, he, wanted, he doesn't want to have it stopped. He wants to finish it out, go out swinging, which he did. He did, and confirmation that last round, 10 nines across the board for Turebek. Abibalaev. 